Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but we're not going to have that conversation because it seems to happen every time. So um, I thought that today I would do a really highly requested video from you guys. And um, I think I should have done this probably quite a long time ago <laughs> because um, my sort of most viewed videos on YouTube are all about my Mulberry bags. I don't have tons, like I don't have an awful lot um, in comparison to some of the collection videos that you see out there. But um, yeah, I have a few, so I thought um, as it had been requested a few times, I would do a sort of overview of my Mulberry collection. Everything, not just handbags, because then, as I said, I don't really have that much. I don't really have that much full stop, but you know, I'll stop talking. I'm going to do a collection video on my Mulberry items. If you've been watching my videos for quite a long time, you've probably seen most of these items in various, uh, like, hauls or, or what I got for generally what I got for Christmas or birthday videos is what these would have come in um, I'm gonna try and show you what I have in age order so what I had first and then sort of go from there and I'll do like a brief overview but there's some item, some information that I can't remember anymore but anyway let's start with my collection I'm gonna start with the oldest item first so item number one is my little Ledbury. This is a bag that I have had now for probably about nine, eight years, eight, seven or eight years, a long time. This is obviously older than seven or eight years. This was pre-loved to me. It was bought at a car boot sale, um, actually like a village sale sort of thing. And it was 50p, 50p, I said that weird, 50 pence, whatever. Um, maybe it was two pound 50. I can't remember, it was like a really small amount of money and it was bought for me. Um, and it's a real one. It has obviously though had a tough time in life. I can't actually remember, I think I've spoken about this before, but I feel like it's had oil or hot something spilt on it in its time. But I remember when I was given this, it was the best thing because it was like, oh my God, my own mulberry bag. And um, yeah, I wore it to death. If it hadn't have been killed before, it has definitely died thanks to my wear and tear. Um, yeah, it's just a little lead brie made in England. And I think these these are from like the 1990s, I'm not 100% sure, um, maybe the early 2000s. Again, unsure. Um, it's not something I really use anymore, but it's something that I wouldn't sell because obviously it's quite damaged. And also, because it meant so much at the time, like, yeah, it's like my little friend, it needs to stay with me. Um, I have no idea on pricing of this, so this is no longer made um, by Mulberry. So the Leadbury was is like a mini Bayswater size and style of bag. Um, and this is the original, I call it like the, tr the traditional Darwin oak leather. Um, but yeah, I know they don't make it anymore and I guess the best place to go would be eBay if you wanted one. So you guys would have definitely seen item number two and that is my I call this my French purse, and I guess because I've had these things so long, and what I call them and what they might be called now is quite different, but this, when I bought it, was called a French purse, but I believe now is called a trifold, so it's got the popper, and it's um, got one, two, and three compartments, if that makes sense, um, and yeah, I got this, let me try and do, a, actually, I, this is in a video, and I have done a review on this, um, but I can't remember how old, I've, how old it is. Probably at least six, no, at least seven years old because I had it when I went to university. Um, yeah, this was bought for me by my mum for Christmas. And again, it was just like, oh my God, what a mulberry item. And it was amazing because this was brand new to me, so it wasn't pre-loved. Um, it now is very much pre-loved, as you can tell. It's got an awful lot of colouring on the back. Um, and it's, the, the leather sort of gets, this leather, so again, this is the traditional oak um, Darwin leather, it gets shinier the more you use it, it like sort of polishes up with your hands. Um, this one also has the brass plate um, it just says Mulberry existing since 1971 and then it has the card section, it's two for pockets here, um, this area for cards, this area for coins, Ooh, um, this area here at the front and then this bit at the back for night. No, Oh my life, that made me jump. That's a quarter. Ah. Um, for notes. And it's a lovely, lovely purse, and I actually don't really use it very much anymore. Um, 
I stopped really using this when I got given my Lily, which you'll see soon, um, because it just took up half the bag. I do use this when I travel, because um, it just leaves a bit more space for other currencies, but yeah, I don't really use this anymore. But I think these are still available on the Mulberry website, however, they might not be available in these leathers anymore, because Mulberry's changed. <laughs> But I won't go into that. Next is probably my, I would call it my big one. But you guys have seen this so many times, you're probably like, oh yeah, I think you've got that bag. Shut up about it now. But anyway, um, yeah, so this was my item number three, I'm pretty sure. This is my Bayswater Water in oak. Um, I got this in 2013, so it will be four years old this Christmas. Um, and yeah, I think I've said everything I need to say about this bag in various of the videos. I will link them all below. Um, she is just a traditional Bayswater, like I said, an oak with a brass plate. Um, yeah, I've used this bag, not to death yet, but I've used it an awful lot and it's still got loads of stuff in it. Um, yeah, I've used it an awful, awful lot. It's still got loads of life in it, but... Yeah, this definitely isn't what they look like brand new. I don't think they make these anymore, um, at least not in the traditional Darwin leather. Like I said, Mulberry sort of changed and they've changed their leathers that they use and they've now discontinued a lot of their old designs and it's the brand as itself doesn't really uh, appeal in the same way to me anymore. It's sad, but it's just something that they've they've moved on and now it's not really my taste which is a real shame and I think quite a lot of people share that opinion but then um, quite a lot of people are liking the new stuff so it's all different taste levels but anyway I'm really really glad that I got this base water and um yeah she is my baby and will be forever more that was my third item and now I might be wrong with this one and you can probably tell me because I have all, all of my what I got for Christmas videos on YouTube pretty much from the last five years or so but I think that Christmas my mum got me this key ring um, and this is a Mulberry Heritage key ring in the oak leather can you tell my favourite leather colour here? <laughs> um, yeah with the brass hardware, the little tree and with the serial number on the back and um, yeah there's not much more to say about it this is on my um, mum's house key oh I'm missing, oh no I've got one there um, yeah, my mum's house keys, so these are my mum's home, if that makes sense. I've got my own keys now, so I have these on two different blocks. But um, yeah, it's lasted really, really well. Hardly got any colouring or discolouring actually would be the thing to say about it. The brass plate is a little bit scratched. I don't know if you'll focus on there, but um, yeah. I mean, considering I've had it for four years and the keys get they batter things, I think that's done pretty well. Oh, I haven't read on prices. Ah, okay. Just to say, pricing, again, I'm not really sure on this one. Um, I should have done some more homework before I did this video, but I think the key rings are about 150, 175, or at least they were when I got this. I'm pretty sure. Sorry, I've just come back because I forgot to tell you about prices. I don't know about the other two items, but this item, because I brought my, bought myself, um, was £850 as a retail price, but I purchased it for £660. And I think now the Bayswater is being sold, again I'm not sure about leathers, but it looks so slumped. Um, but if they do still sell this leather, the last time I saw it was online for 995 I'm pretty sure, something a lot of money now. Um, but yeah, that's the price on that one. After those, I then was lucky enough to receive bah, 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 my scarf, and I don't, I should have done research, I don't know the name of this. I remember when I asked or hinted that if there was ever a way that Santa or Father Christmas could buy a mulberry scarf I would really like the Tamara scarf but I think this might be the Tamara big tree scarf because it has obviously the big trees on it um, whereas the traditional Tamara has got the small trees on it I don't know um, but yeah my mum bought me this scarf again this is again in another what I got for Christmas video and I absolutely love it it's just really simple, got a mirror here, um, really simple and quite dressy for a scarf so I don't wear it as an everyday scarf for instance because I have actually got a pull in it which is a real shame, um, I wonder if I could put that back, probably not now, that's annoying, oh well, um, yeah so I try and use this more as a an occasion scarf which sounds kind of weird but out for like evenings and things like that, um, 
on pricing, I think the scarves are about 250, 275 when my mum got me this, but they've changed and gone up a lot since then. Um, and then on the label, it just says 100% extra fine merino wool. Oh, and that is it really for information. But yeah, that's my scarf. She's lovely. Oh, and I think I got this. It was either that same Christmas, 2013, but in my head I think it's probably 2014. But yeah, I love this scarf. And then next is my first mulberry item that wasn't in the tan colour. Um, so the next item, again, you would have seen quite a lot on here, is my mulberry lily bag. So this I received for Christmas, two Christmases ago in a few months' time. So this is like, I've had this 18 months, probably nearly 20 months. Um, she is in the oxblood colour with the shiny gold hardware and is the regular lily size. Um, I have done, I'm sure I did a what I got, I'm sure I did a review video on this. If not, then I will definitely do sort of a my lily so many months or maybe two years on video because I absolutely love this bag. It is um, so practical. Oh, got my things in there. Um, great for evenings, but also great for the day. And I actually use this more for the day than for evenings. Well, I don't really ever really go out. Um, but yeah, I love this bag. And it was completely, completely out of the blue present. It was something I wasn't expecting at all. Um, and even if I was thinking, oh yeah, quite like a lily bag, the colour is also something that I would not have chosen, I don't think. But actually, I love it. And it goes with absolutely everything. Um, yeah, my mum, as I said, bought this. I honestly am not sure on prices. Uh, I wouldn't really want, to. I think maybe 690, I think, pounds. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm really not sure. I don't really, I don't really know about prices, I'm sorry. But yeah, she's an absolutely lovely bag and I will definitely do a two years on um, video on this because I think everybody needs to know about the lily, even though sadly they don't do this leather anymore <laughs> oh it's so sad this conversation should have filmed this a few years ago when they did but um yeah love it and so next is two items that i got for my birthday after getting the lily bag which are these two so i'm going to start with the coin purse this is a um tree an oak leather tree coin pouch i think and it's the one with the card holder or card slot at the back um, it just unzips here and you obviously keep all your coins in there. I actually keep loads of my uh, like store cards and gift cards and stamps and things like that in there. Um, and then that's all my cash. And then in the back I will put like my work pass or um, just my, cred my debit card if I need to just go out somewhere quickly. And this was a gift from my mum and this was for my 24th birthday. So it was so that I could have a smaller purse in my lily bag. So that's really lovely. And I think these are about 100 pounds, 110. Um, but yeah, really, really love that one. And I still use, I use that all the time. And just to talk about wear and tear, it's got a few um, dents in it, I guess. Not even really scratches, just a few indentations from keys and things from being in my bag. But yeah, it's really done really well. Next is a Mulberry card holder. This is the Oxblood um, embossed, I guess. It has got some sort of texture. or well, it is embossed because that's where the tree is, just down here, although it's not very clear anymore. And then the pattern is, um, I guess, embossed. What other word would that be? I don't know, but it's patterned. This was a present from my boyfriend Barney, again from my 24th birthday I'm pretty sure um, this is like I said in the oxbed colour to go with my new bag at the time let me just check I'm still recording I am fabulous um, the yeah it holds one two three it has four card slots but I can fit two cards in each slot and then it also has like a centre pocket here which I put like important um, receipts and card like business cards in Again, this I've used for um, the same amount of time as the coin purse, and it is, again, dented, scratched, and from like your cards and stuff in there. And annoyingly, this has happened to the um, piping within the last few weeks, which is a bit annoying. I don't know if I should pull it off. Probably that actually happened with my um, Bayswater 
handles where the, sort of the plastic lifts, which is just a bit irritating, but hey hey, I really love it and I use it every day and it's really, really useful. My last item to show you, see, I don't have that many. I've actually lost count, but it's not that many. But my last item is something I received last Christmas. So this is 10 months ago and it's another key ring. And this one is a oak leather heart key ring with the brass hearts on it as well. So this was from my mum and this was a key ring to have on my home keys so my boyfriend and I had bought a house together last year and so she got me a key ring oh and actually I think this was from my brother this might be from my brother actually um well, it might be from my mum my mum or my brother um yeah and it was like a something so I could have a heart on my home keys if that makes sense so I had a mulberry key ring on both my home home like my family home and then one for my home um so this key ring again was bought last year it's done really, really well. It's just, I don't know, like the, the brass always gets discoloured and I don't know if it's because it scratches off or if it um, touches something it shouldn't on my bag, but I don't know. I still love it and again, I've used this every day and yeah, it's done well. And I think, I think, 100 and, I think about 100, and, like I said before, 175, 150 pounds. But yeah, I love that. Is that, that's my Mulberry collection. It's not huge, it's not massive by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and I would say I'd like to grow it. There are a couple of things I th would be interested in buying pre-loved, but it's something that, um, I don't know, like, I don't know how to describe it. I haven't fallen in, out of love, fallen out of the, fallen out of love with the brand with all its new things, but it's, I still love the old stuff, but it's just not quite as like, <gasps> what are they going to bring out this year? What they, what colours are they going to be? Because... I just don't like the finish anymore and I don't know if anyone else feels the same and if anyone else has moved away from Mulberry, what brands you've moved into or have you just not really found another fit? I mean, I, I can't really think of another brand that does something like Mulberry used to, um, really, because everything else is sort of really expensive or not quite the right feel, not like quite finished and just not basic enough. Like, I like really clean, but now I'm babbling on about nothing and it doesn't really make any sense. But anyway, meh. I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm sorry for blabbing on. Um, I'll put a couple of clips at the end now um, of my collection as a whole on my table. Then you can like see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or queries, please let me know below and I'll speak to you guys soon. Lots of love.